Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. I got my coffee here and I'm ready to rock and roll. For this week's tutorial, the patrons voted on a boat marina, so that's what we're gonna do today. If you'd like to give a vote on what I should paint next and have a say in that, check out the link right here and be a part of the Color by Felix community. And now, as a way to say thank you, I would like to do a giveaway to my awesome patrons who have been generous and uh, I have a basket full of names here, as you can see, and these lovely names here are people that have been supportive and of these videos, so I, I thank you guys very much. And here, I'm about to pick a name. All right, and the winner is, the winner is right here. Let's see who the winner is. Cheryl. Again, congratulations, Cheryl M. You get to pick a prize off of a list I uh, put down on my Patreon page. So thank you so much for your support. All right, guys, let's get started. First things first, we're gonna go over the material list. What we need for today. For brushes, we need this blending brush set right here. We need some of these Artist Loft brushes. I'll be showing you as we paint which one I'm using and the size of them. We need uh, any half an inch flat brush and a double round detail brush for the details. For paints, I like to use heavy golden acrylics and any brand will do. I just prefer using golden acrylics because they're my favorite, but we need titanium white Carbon Black, Ultramarine Blue, Cadmium Yellow Medium, and Naphtha Red Light. We need a palette, a palette knife, a jar of water where you can put your brushes in when you're not using them so that the, they won't dry out and then some paper towels to dry out your brushes. And I like to use this, you don't have to, but I like to use the hair blow dryer to dry my, my uh, first couple coats um, in the beginning. Now I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas, already pre-gessoed, I bought it as it is from Michaels. You um, can use any size of canvas you'd like, and I would like to remind you guys that the amount of paint you put on your palette depends on the size of your canvas. So if it's a little bigger that you're using, you know, just make sure you add a little more, or if it's a smaller one, just add a little less. Okay, that'll be all for materials, and we're ready to start. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is figure out where we want the horizon line to be. And I want it a little lower than the middle. How about that? Because we're gonna create a reflection, okay? And uh, we're gonna have the boats be like in the middle almost, and then the reflection of the boats onto our water. And what we're gonna do first is cover the sky because that's the furthest distance in the picture. And then whatever's closer, you then add more you know, layers. Then the closest thing will, the second closest thing will be clouds. So then we'll add a few clouds. And then the third closest thing will be mountains or the trees or, or the buildings. And then you work your way you know, up close. So that's how I work. And uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. So I've got my palette here and titanium white and I added just a little bit for my first coat, so it's about a nail big right here. And then, um, and then I just add white first. So I'm gonna add my second color, and then my third. Um, and uh, but they're all like almost the same, okay? And then a little bit less here. So um, pretty much the same amount of white on, on all of them, except the last one, a, a little bit less here. But you know, once I add more paint, I might need to use a little bit more. So you can never guess how much you need. Sometimes it works and you guess the first time and you're like, wow, I, I like the colors I made, so I'm gonna stick with it. Okay, so next we're gonna grab our cadmium yellow and I'm gonna just add a touch here, just a touch right there. And then add a little more here and a little more here. And a touch here, not too much, right there. Next, I got my red, 
and I'm gonna add a little, uh, just a touch here of red, a little more here, and then same thing here, about the same amount, right there. So now, let's mix these. So this one is gonna be pretty bright, um, right there. It's gonna be the brightest. That's good enough. Next, we got a white, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of red. It should give us an orangey color. I like this peachy color in the sky. Okay, next, this should be similar, just a little more red. So it's gonna turn out, more, I think, more pinkish than orangey. That's what it looks like. Right there. Right there, and then our last should be very similar. But we're not done with our shades. I'm gonna uh, add a little uh, ultramarine blue in our sky. Right there. So now let's add some ultramarine blue and white. So here you have it. I added a touch right here of ultramarine blue and then a touch of a little more blue here and then more titanium white. So I'm gonna mix this one first. Just a touch, I didn't add a lot. This shade will be part of our clouds. Okay, and then the next one um, is just white and blue. So I'm gonna clean out my palette knife real quick. And I added a little bit of more titanium white here to this, uh, to this uh, orange one right here, our second shade. Just a little more, because I feel like we're gonna need a little more to cover the canvas. Um, and it's gonna be a bright orange color. There you go. And we're ready to lay our first coat down. Okay, so we're gonna now grab our fluffy brush, number eight. We're gonna dab it in the water jar about halfway, like this. Squeeze some of it out, not all of it. And then we're gonna grab our lightest color, and we're gonna create like a, I'm gonna have like a little glowy sun right here, not in the middle, but, um, so we're gonna grab our lightest color right here, and my brush is wet, so it's gonna run smooth on the canvas and we're gonna add it right in here. That's where the sun will be. Okay, so we're just gonna add it right there and then cover this spot and then maybe take it out a little bit this way. And then we're gonna dab our brush just a little bit on the tip into our water, and I'm gonna save some of this yellow, I might use it. I'm gonna grab my orange right here that we have. I'm gonna grab this color and put it underneath, right here, underneath. Okay, underneath, right there. And just dab it in the water a little bit on the tip, and grab a little more and cover your canvas here. And we're not blending yet. We're just laying down our first coats, okay? Right there. And then we're gonna continue. Gonna continue and we're gonna add this color, continue with it. 
and add it right in here. Okay, right where we, right below this yellow line. We're gonna make our sky very smooth looking, okay? And if it creates some of uh, natural clouds by itself, that's awesome. And I want this part, this cloud to be darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the third orange, darker orange color right here and create like a little cloud here. And I'm just gonna draw it like this. Okay, carry it out and draw it like that. And then here is where I'm going to add the next shade, which will be white. Let's add some white, just pure white out of the two. Um, you don't have to clean your, your brush. Just grab straight out of the tube white and add it above right here. Just pure white. And just cover this first part. We're gonna make the clouds look more detailed later, but I'm just kind of drying it out to see, seeing where I want it to be. So the white right there, and then after the white, after we added the white, we're gonna add the blue. So we're just gonna cover everything with the blue on top here. Like that. Actually, not everything. Let's add the blue here, and then the blue on top right here. And then some blue in here in the corner and as you can see it's getting dry so I dab it lightly in the just the tip in the water jar and grab more color whichever color I need and I'm gonna leave some empty spaces as you could see and I'm gonna grab my orange whichever orange you want doesn't really matter here um, and just add it right here below Grab more white and add some here and maybe add here. Grab this orange and add it right here. And some here, just cover the canvas. There you go, very simple as you could see. And now what we're gonna do is clean our brush and uh, use the same brush just clean most of the paint out like this, slightly dab it in the water jar and then clean it out. And then, I to save time, I have two of these fluffy brushes. But basically what you do is after you clean most of the paint out, you grab the, the paper towel and then you swirl it onto the paper towel and then dry it out as best as you can. And it will still be a little damp, which is totally fine, okay? And now we're gonna just blend this in real quick, our first layer. So we're gonna start from the brightest area, okay? And we're gonna start from right in the middle. And I lightly press and I swirl, okay? Lightly press and swirl. And I carry it, carry it a little upwards. And I just, you know, dab it and and uh, blend everything in. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is our first layer, okay? This is the first layer of the sky. Lightly pressing and pulling upwards.
And there you go. And so now I'm gonna use my hair blow dryer to dry my first coat. Okay, so now the sky is dry and we're gonna add more details to it, but let's finish up with the water. Like, let's add the first base and cover up our canvas here. And what we're gonna do is we have some paint left over and we're gonna grab this orange one, right? And we're just gonna put it right below here. And I, uh, my brush is wet, so it runs smoothly on the canvas. So I'm grabbing this color here and just covering everything. Okay, this is where our horizon line will be, so it's gonna be covered anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna cover it first like this. And this is the easy part because this is mainly gonna be, um, grab orange here mainly going to be orange. So grab the third color shade here and cover this. And then we're going to continue with the lighter paint. And then here you can add that light blue. I'm going to dab it in the water just a little bit and then grab this light blue and add it right here on the bottom. And just blend everything in doesn't have to be perfect guys just cover it because this is our base and we're gonna come back to it um, just like that and what we're gonna do is again do the same process dry um, squeeze our brush out get most of the paint out grab a paper towel and swirl it onto our paper towel get most of the paint out And then, you know, it's gonna be damp like this. And you don't wanna be rough with it. Um, just lightly, just, it's gonna be damp like this and just, uh, this part, just go back and forth like this, lightly. Okay? Lightly back and forth. we're gonna add ripples and stuff in the water so this is just like the base okay there you go I'm gonna use the hair blow dryer to dry this out real quick all right so now our first coat is dry and we can add some details in our sky and I'm gonna grab my artist sloth brush right here this is a half an inch and I'm gonna dab it lightly in the water squeeze it out so it could be damp and then I'm gonna grab remember this shade we mixed right here um, this fourth one. Oh yeah, and I also added, we're gonna use that to add some darker clouds, but I also added just white and straight out of the tube, uh, cadmium yellow right here, just a little bit of each, because um, we're gonna add some more details in our clouds. And first things first, let's add the white. Let's grab the white and uh, just pure white with my damp brush, and we're gonna add it right here, because that's where the sun will be, okay? That's where the glow will be. Um, and so just add it right here um, and just working transparent and I'm just kind of like you know carrying it outwards like this And just drag it out like this into the clouds. This part doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Okay. Carry this white. And as you could see, my brush is um, uh, damp, so it's carrying that wet um, paint everywhere. So it's not going to be, you know, very strong. Um, so then what I'll do is grab my number two. Artist Love Brush. And while it's still wet with dry, I'm gonna work dry. I'm gonna swirl it and blend everything this white. Just go over and blend. 
the areas right here. Okay, and then actually I'm gonna grab a little more white and add a little more, just a little bit here, a little one, okay? Just a little more white right there. Again, grab our number two fluffy brush and around the edges, just dab it and lightly spread it. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Right there. And then as we go out, I'm gonna grab that yellow, okay? I'm not gonna clean my brush. I'm just gonna grab this yellow right here that we have and add it right underneath, underneath, okay? This yellow, that's from the sun. I want this yellow to be strong. Just around that sun, okay? Right there. Right there. And you can fade it out. As you can see, it's not perfect. And so now I'm gonna grab my number two fluffy brush and I'm gonna press a little harder, just a little bit, and blend everything. And if I need to, I dab lightly into the water and make my brush a little damp, as you could see. You don't want too much water. So, um, just a little bit, so that you can carry some of this paint away. And don't be afraid to add, you know, to add your colors, because it's all about adding layers, then it starts to come to life the more you add, okay? So just have fun with it. And water, by adding water, you can do a lot of stuff. You can blend very nicely, as, as much as you want in your paintings, okay? So, I'm just... Blending everything in. Okay, and there you have it. Our glow right in here. Um, I grabbed a little bit of more yellow um, onto my brush here, just a little bit. And carry it out. Create, leave that little white glow there. And in fact, I'm gonna add a little more. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit onto, using the same fluffy number two brush, just grab a little bit more white and put it right in the middle, right there. there and now what we're gonna do now we're gonna go back to our half an inch artist slot brush and we're gonna grab this color remember this one and I wanna go here and I want this to really pop out, the sun to pop out, so I'm gonna add darker colors here. That's why I'm adding it right in here. And um, right below, right here. Okay, grab this color and then maybe here have some of them like come out and if you want you could dab your brush in the water so it can run smoother so grab a little bit of, of uh, water and this paint and randomly add your clouds where you want them to be okay I'm not covering all this red here. I like that red, so I'm gonna leave some of them, but I do want to cover some of these, make them darker. I want my 
sun to pop out here. And there you go. And then we're gonna grab a little more of this color and maybe add some right in here. Some, some clouds that are separate a little bit. Using this darkest right here. Just with water in this color. Maybe skip some, you know, I like the the lighter colors popping out through there. So maybe skip some and spread it out evenly and then fade it out right here at the end. Right there. And then you can continue here. You could add, actually grab some of this orange now. Some of this orange and add the orange below here. in here. So you're gonna grab this orange and fade it out like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Grab some more water, dab it. I just dab the corner, okay? I don't want too much water so it can run smoothly on the canvas. Your clouds could be a little different than mine, okay? So don't worry about trying to get it perfectly like mine. It could turn out a little bit different. You can have clouds anywhere you want in your sky. And then here, I'm gonna grab this orange, not the darker one, this orange one, and then I'm gonna continue adding some little ones here by themselves. Maybe some in here. Dab my brush in the water, and just in the water, I'm gonna continue working here. Add some skinny ones. And fade it out right here. Okay. Here with the same color, this orange, I'm gonna add a few lighter ones right here. So dab my brush in the water, just work with water right now. I want some lighter ones right in here. Some long ones right there. Right there. and fade it out right there in there like that so now i'm gonna grab my number two fluffy brush squeeze the water out and grab some of this orange just a little bit on the um on the tip and lightly press and carry the paint upwards you know, this, what this does with water and a little bit of that color, it smoothens uh, the paint, you know, it smoothens everything out. So just go over it real quick. You don't have to do it everywhere. It's just, it might not do that much big of a difference, but 
it just smoothens everything out, like I said. There you go. And now we're gonna go back to our artist love brush right here. And what we're gonna do is continue adding, but let's add this orange one instead of the dark one. And we're gonna continue on. Why don't we add one that kind of goes up like this. Dab my brush in the water and have one that, you know, some little ones here. And then one that attaches here. lightly. I'm just like spreading the little clouds um, all over. So that's what I'm doing just with water and a little bit of this orange right here is what I'm doing. And then here I'm going to add a little bit of this color and then some here. here a little bit attach this one and go a little bit upwards okay and we're gonna attach have one a few little ones here and these are little clouds I just want my sky to be interesting not too plain that's why I'm adding all these clouds and details in my clouds and sky you can have it plain if you liked your sky as it was in the beginning, just very, very smooth and plain. You can totally leave it as you, you know, the way you like yours to be. Um, so now I'm gonna add some in here. I'm gonna grab the lighter orange and add the lighter orange here on top make this one a little bigger. And I'm just pressing a little harder and blending, blending some of them in so it could look smooth, you know, a little smoother. It won't look too sharp, okay? With the lighter. Just blend some of them in. Here, I'm gonna grab some white, okay? Some pure white and water. And we're gonna add some bright bright. Actually mix the yellow with a little bit of white. And basically, it'll be the same color as this yellow, remember? So it doesn't have to be perfect. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you guys to get used to um, you know, mixing your own paint, your own shades. So it's just basically the same color, yellow and white. And we're gonna add some red in here below these clouds. All right, grab a little more. Some of them could be a little different. Them, kind of like what I did with the uh, orange randomly just added them below my mix it in with the orange just below where I added the orange okay just white and a little bit of yellow Right there. 
as you can see, it's a little messy and I'm working a little bit faster because right now I'm gonna grab my number eight fluffy brush, squeeze the water out, have it be damp. Okay, so my brush is damp and I cleaned it out a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is, um, you know, grab this yellow one right here. How about that? Just a little bit on it. Just a little bit, and then from where I left off, I'm gonna press a little bit harder and blend everything in right here, because I want this part to be smooth. And just blend everything in. This will be like very uh, smooth looking in our sky. So my brush is damp. do is I'm gonna grab my number two fluffy brush squeeze out the water and I want to bring out some yellow into my sky as well right here I'm gonna bring out more yellow right here so what I'm gonna do is grab just yellow okay just yellow in my number two just on the tip and add it right here just randomly okay let it naturally um, spread out wherever it wants to. Okay, just yellow and water. Maybe carry it out a little bit this way and that's it. Just blend everything in. yellow in here just in there in the uh, lighter spots okay I just want it to pop out this color this yellow to pop out and just fade it out okay just fade it out grab a little more yellow here, right below. Okay. All right, and then last thing, I'm gonna grab my half an inch artist stop brush, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of this yellow, just pure yellow. My brush is damp, and around the edges here, right here, add the yellow so that like the sun is hitting these clouds and they're becoming very yellow and bright just on the bottom and then fade it out here okay maybe add some in here on top it's on some of these clouds just on some of them Just on the bottom, okay? Just the yellow and water. And here you can blend everything, this yellow and move straight in there like this there you go okay we'll be done with our sky you can add as much detail as one as you want i always say this have fun with it you know play around um, have as much detail as you want okay this will be up to you guys so there you go and then the water we're going to come back to the water but now let's add on so, you know, the next thing here, we're gonna probably add a few little uh, trees and then maybe a building and then come, for, uh, come forward and work on our boats. All right, so we're gonna mix some color here. So black, a little bit of yellow and red. Let's mix that. 
And what I'm gonna do is actually add a little bit of white. So I'm gonna grab some white from here, just a little bit. And uh, I don't want it to be too dark. Right there, that's good enough. And then our next shade is pretty much the same white and black. It's gonna be lighter though. I added more white on here. And we're gonna add some um, red here, just a little bit of red and orange. And to save time, I'm just gonna grab the leftover orange that we have here. Don't worry about trying to make it exactly like it, it's okay. I just want some of the um, like the reddish, like orangey into um, this gray. So if, if, you do, if you ran out of your orange right here, then you know uh, it's just a little bit of red and, uh, or, and yellow. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is just for the buildings, um, just a few little buildings in the background. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is grab our half an inch artist sloth brush, dry it out with a paper towel, and straight up, just grab some of this color, dab it. And remember, our horizon line is right in here, so I'm gonna create some bushes right in here, okay? Right in here, and then bring it down right about here, okay? Right there. And then continue with the same color. You know, grab it and then continue adding some more trees. They're like in a, they're like far behind. And I'm just lightly dabbing it I'm gonna create a bigger tree here. Maybe some little ones up here. A lot of these are gonna be covered, so don't, don't worry about trying to make them perfect, okay? Just, this is the background. A lot of these trees are gonna be covered. So maybe if you wanted to skip some of these areas, you can, you know, maybe some of these could be taller like this, these trees. Like that, next. Create some of the taller ones here. And continue on. Maybe create a fluffier one here. They don't have to be perfect. Right about to this point. And then here, we're gonna create some buildings, okay? So this is good enough right there. Good enough for our trees. Slightly pressing. All right, let's add a few little buildings here. We're gonna grab our half an inch flat brush, dab it in the water, and grab this slider color right here. And this part, you can have fun. Let's add just a straight line here. Maybe it goes in like this, goes down and then um, here, it goes straight. And then a 
maybe there's something behind. So, something behind like this. And then, so what I'm doing is I'm drawing my shape of the building first, okay? I'm gonna continue down and go down here, dab my brush in the water, and then maybe add another one going down. Right about there. And then I'm gonna just cover this up Cover it all up with this color. Doesn't have to be perfect. Cover it up. Just water in this grayish, orangey, or reddish color of the building. Right there. Okay, and then next we're gonna grab this shade right here, this leftover from our trees, dab it in the water, and then create another building that's behind this one. Maybe like this. Maybe there's one behind right there too. And then Gonna continue, grab this dark shade and create a little line going down like this. Maybe it's a shadow of this building. Maybe this building is designed in 1905. I don't know why I said that. I don't know how buildings used to look back in the day. Okay, like this. And maybe there's a line here, a line here, little lines here, maybe lines here, and then this goes down straight, maybe there's another little building right behind. And then we're gonna continue, grab this black one and then add a little building, darker building one that goes right behind this one. And this is just gonna go straight and maybe down and then straight like this. Finish it off like that. Okay. Making it taller and taller each time. There you go. And just cover that up. Maybe use the slider one too, just to create some, you know, different shadows and stuff in this building. Okay, and then fade it out right here. Same thing here. Bring some of these down. Okay, and then here we're gonna add, use the same brush, clean out our brush and then grab some white. And it's not gonna be pure white because I still have some of that gray in my paint. And I'm just gonna create a few lighter shades in my building. Just a few lighter shades, doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Just white here and maybe just like that. And what we're gonna do is 
grab some yellow right here, mix it with our white, and create some windows. You know, you could spend as much time and as you want to create your windows wherever you want them to be. Just yellow and white. Maybe these windows are bigger. And then I'm gonna grab this darker shade and create some darker highlights. Just with this dark here. Okay, water. Just in some of them, okay? gonna clean your brush and just add a few of the just white um, onto this building maybe just dab it in there like that okay all right so now I'm gonna grab my uh, round detail brush, dab it in the water, and with same thing with yellow and white, add some of these areas brighter. Okay, maybe there's a little window right in here and then in here. This is where the details come in, and you can be as you know detailed as you want with your windows and your light lighting in your windows. Um, totally up to you since the light the sunlight is hitting this side I'm gonna make you know the this side of the building a little lighter okay there you go it's good enough right there that's good okay so now that we got our building we're gonna continue and I'm gonna cover some of this grab my artist lock brush and cover some of this up to you know just doesn't have to be perfect just the bottom part um, it's gonna be covered most of these you won't see by just the base okay right about right there okay so next next let's start drawing out some boats all right so now what I got here is just white and and a little bit of yellow and you can see barely a touch of red I'm gonna grab that and uh, I'm gonna mix that in. It's gonna be light, pretty light right here. Almost like this color right here, but lighter. As you could see, maybe grab some more white. Right there, doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Let's sketch out our boats. So we're gonna grab our detailed, or I mean not detailed, sorry. We're gonna grab our half an inch uh, brush right here flat brush and first things first um, I added a little bit more black here 
to have a darker shade. And first things first is we're gonna add the some of these um, boats here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab this color, this dark um, black here, mix it in. As you can see, I dab it in the water, so it's, um, and it's pretty wet. And so now I'm gonna draw out uh, my boat. So what I'm gonna do is this, these are the background boats, so they're gonna be kind of um, almost like abstract. You won't tell what they are because um, the, the, the boats up front, they're gonna be more detailed, but for now, we're just gonna add a few abstract boats in the back. So let's just say there's a window right in here, and then, you know, there's something going on here, and then it goes down, and then there's maybe like a little black line here and then you know not something else going on here and i'm just randomly adding shapes right here because this is going to be the background and it's all going to fade out it's all going to be different you know um you'll see what i mean so i'm just gonna randomly pretend there's stuff going on in the back okay i'm gonna make this abstract maybe there's a you know, like a little boat going down like this. And there, I'm just drawing shapes right now. And then cover that up. Okay, just water and black. And maybe there's something here. And then um, let's draw a couple poles so my pole is going to be right in here and then maybe there's another little one far behind just with this darker color they don't have to be perfect maybe there's a pole here a little one far behind and then something going on in the back right there same thing here, just cover it randomly. Make it look busy, maybe there's a pull here. Something going on right here in the back. It's gonna be a boat here. something here maybe there's a boat or a dock or some sort of something going on here and now I'm not gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna grab this color right here and pretend that there's stuff going on right here draw out a line like this and maybe create a shape just make him look interesting maybe there's like Maybe that's a window of the boat. Maybe there's a line here. And then it goes down like this. And then maybe there's a, you know, something here. And maybe it goes down like this. Just create random shapes, guys. Some of these are gonna be covered. Um, so don't spend too much time. I know it looks confusing. It actually is confusing to me too because I, um, like I'm just guessing where the boats are laying and uh, behind, you know? So I'm just kind of drawing abstract stuff right now. But, um, Maybe there's like a little arch. You wouldn't be able to tell what these are. Maybe that's like, um, 
stuff from the boat, you know, what is uh, that, that boat that, uh, what is it called? Hmm. Where you tie up a rope right here and the boat holds and gives you a, you know, wakeboarding or tubing. That metal thing here in the back. So pretend like there's something going on here. Here. As you can see, it looks a little weird first, but that's okay. Just quickly sketch it out, okay? Don't spend too much time trying to make this perfect. These are abstract boats in the back. They're gonna be covered mostly. So now we're gonna grab our artist up brush and grab this black color right here and cover some of this. Just cover it all randomly like this. Just work transparent and maybe bring some down like that. Like that. All right, like that. There you go. Very abstract. We're not gonna go in too much detail, but let's now get our ultramarine blue. Actually, you know what? I hope you have this. I have some paint left. I'm gonna use it right now. I have this blue. Remember for the sky we mixed? I have some left. If you do have some, great, use that. If you don't, it's just white and ultramarine blue, okay? Very easy. And it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Just a light blue, that's all what we want. And I'm gonna create some blue onto my boats here so it won't be too boring. Maybe there's a rake or something here. Maybe there's some poles behind. You know, something going on here in the back. Create some blue shadows and effects on these boats. There you go, it's good enough. Now I'm gonna clean my brush. See, very, very simple. Now I'm gonna grab some yellow and white and just with water, also add a few interesting lights in your boats, some shadows or the sunlight hitting some of these, you know, making them look brighter than the others. So not everywhere, just randomly, you know, create some um, some yellow touches onto your boats to make them look interesting. Okay, all right. Adding a little bit of highlights here on the on my pole. go make this darker here and 
then bring it down right here. There you go. That's good enough. And now we're going to grab our detail brush, dab it in the water, grab some just pure titanium white, swirl it onto your brush, um, and go over and straighten some of these shapes out, you know, like um, make them look more like something. You know what I mean? I don't know how to describe it because I'm, I'm, uh, this is one of my first mar uh, boat marine I'm painting, so I just kind of lay out the shapes and then, um, go from there you know maybe there's a steering wheel right there or something dashboard you know and and I just go over with titanium white and add more details pretend like there's something going on okay maybe the, this part's a little lighter and just make them look a little more detailed. Just on some of the areas, okay? Maybe there's another one far behind. Just with white. Let's call it good with these boats. Now we're gonna come into the detailed, more detailed boats, okay? And what we're gonna do is grab our half an inch brush and we can come back to these little boats behind, okay? If we need to. This is just a sketch. It still looks a little confusing and rough what they are. You could tell some that might look like boats you know, but then there's some, you can't tell what's going on. That's fine, you know, because we're gonna add bigger boats and cover most of the background areas. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna grab, let's grab, let's work with the dark color right here. Same idea, just water and this dark color. And I'm gonna make this boat very big, okay? I'm gonna make it, um, I'm gonna go all the way here. Let's have it the window. Um, be right in here and then we're gonna go all the way down up until this point right here okay and then we're gonna go out up until like about here and then And then we're gonna, from here, that's the tip of our boat. We're gonna bring it down and about right there. I don't wanna go too far. Let's go up there and let's carry this boat like this. Okay, like this. Don't worry about trying to make it too perfect yet. And then remember here and then this part, I want you to kind of just fade it out in there. You can't see with black, but that's okay. We're gonna go over with the lighter color. I'm just drawing the shapes, kind of getting the idea. Okay, and fade it out there. Now I'm gonna draw, like lightly press here. Maybe there's something, some, like this. And this one goes a little higher. And we're gonna draw a 
like a little sunroof or something on this boat. Just cover it with black. Right there. And we're gonna draw an antenna going out like this. Maybe there's some little ones let's, from these other boats here. So just randomly draw these antennas on some of these boats. Okay. Maybe draw a little bigger one here. All right, there's another one right in there, like that. Okay, now you see the shape of the boat right here. We have, we're gonna go grab water and that's our first shape of the boat. I wanna draw another boat right here. And what I'm gonna do is have the tip be you know, have the window be right here. And this one's gonna be maybe about like this high. Actually, I'll make it less high. I'm gonna make it smaller. And I, I sometimes when I'm, and I don't like something, I just use paper towel and water to wipe it off before it dries. So I'm gonna draw it like this. Almost like a car, right? Almost like a car. Draw this boat and then this front is just going down like this. Going down like this. And then from here, you just fade it and bring it back, okay? About like this. And just carry it out like that. And we're gonna work on the details on that one later. Just bring it out. Just drawing my rough sketches of the boats. Next, let's go on here and pretend that there was some, something going on here. So just cover that up with black and let's create some space and draw another boat right in here. And then here, we're gonna come down about like this and this is the front of the boat so maybe bring it a little less like this because it's facing us the more the more um, you know the more the boats come close this way I want them to face me now so um, then just draw it out like this and then from here draw it out and fade it in there like this okay and then this one will have interesting things going on like this and then let's draw a few more antennas here like that and then maybe there's one right behind and then Maybe there's one that's sticking out higher like this. Okay. You can draw the antennas anywhere you want. You know, there's, there's always a ton of them. So there's never a mistake in the, in the antennas, okay? Maybe there's one that's tilted like this. Maybe there's a sailboat parked behind this one. Okay. And then we're gonna add some, some antennas here. 
Oops, a little too fat. Alrighty then. Okay, so now we're gonna draw a little dock here. How about that? Let's draw a dock. Remember these We're gonna bring the dock all the way up in here. Okay, this is a rough sketch of the dock. That's where we're gonna have it. And then let's pretend that there's something going on here. There's a little boats here. And then the dock maybe continues out in there like this. So it's like an under, another attachment and it continues off into the wilderness. Okay, like that. All right, so now I'm gonna darken this real quick just with black, same thing here. Okay. Just roughly draw it out. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna add details on the water, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is remember this gray that we have here um, that we were draw using for the background boats um, just on some of them and if you don't have this gray to just add white and black um, to it and you have a gray color we're just gonna create just draw it some simple gray highlights here on our boats and fade it out in there like that next do the same thing here follow the shape where you drew the black line and draw it up to this line dab your brush in the water so it can run smoothly we're working transparent and bring it down and just carry it out like this. Next, do the same thing here. Just a rough sketch. Just using this gray, okay? Just using this gray. And then maybe some here. All right, okay. Let's add this dock with water and the gray. Add it here and then do the same thing on this. Just transparent, okay? Just cover the dock. You can see it's not perfect yet. Don't worry about that. All right, next. Now we're gonna rinse off our brush and use this lighter color. Remember we have here? And we're gonna draw out the shape so um, of these boats. So just water and um, this color here and fade it out in there okay doesn't have to be perfect
right. Do the same thing. Maybe there's a dock. And the sun is hitting the dock. Okay, and then we can come back to this boat, but let's continue on to that, our next boat here. And just cover your And then this is going to be transparent. So right here, I'm just going to clean my brush. Not not fully, but just um, just get most of the paint out and work transparent. And just with water, go from one edge to the next. This is like the window of this boat. Just one swipe like this, okay? You could still see, because we used water and a little bit of paint, you could still see behind there's like a little boat because it's a window, okay? Um, that's, that's what we did there. And it, this could act as a, a window as well, as you could see. Um, all right, so continue on, grabbing the same color and adding it right in here. And this is the boat that's facing us. Okay. Cover it up and then maybe draw a little. Something there. And I use the same color and continue drawing. And a little. Okay. With water, we're going to go over and add some details in our boardwalk here. lightly pressing, okay? Creating and just the shadows on these boards. And we're going to come back with the details on those in a little bit. Let's add, I'm gonna add like a box here, like there's something going on actually right in here. And a box, and maybe there's another box right behind it, further away, like this. And then grab the black, and roughly sketch it out. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Like something going on there, something interesting. Doesn't have to make sense sometimes, okay? There you go. All right, so now I'm gonna clean my brush and grab titanium white right here, just pure white, and add some white onto this boat, and just like that, okay? just across and stop about right there. Right there. And add it right here on the bottom as well. And with titanium white, add some here and spread it out, fade it out. Okay, next, with titanium white, we will touch 
our side of the window here and Cover this up. Okay. So here, I'm gonna grab the gray and I wanna cover a little bit more of the gray here. doesn't have to be perfect there and now we're gonna create grab the black here and outline as best as you can this line here that we have here Okay. Like that. Grab the black and fade it out like this. I'm going to grab the black, carry it out like this. Fade it in there. Okay. Something there. All right, let's add a few more pulls, like uh, uh, big log pulls, okay? So just with black. We're going to add one that's going to be right in here, going all the way up in here, so up about this high. So bring it down. All right, and maybe there's a couple in here. Next, let's add a pull. Let's make this a bit taller. Let's add a pull right in here behind this one. And this is where we're going to add the highlights of the water. So maybe even you can do that right now. Just uh, bring it down and fade it out. Like this. Same thing here. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, next. We're gonna add a pole right in here, okay? Let's add it right in here. About the same height as that one. Maybe 
Maybe there's another pool right behind these boats. It's the shadow into the water. Like, kind of uh, spread it out. You know, make it wavy like this. Okay. And then let's add a pull right in the middle right here. This one would be the biggest one. Let's make it tall. Let's make it about this tall, okay? About like that. Just water and black. And we're going to continue this down and make a little reflection of this pool. Like that. All right. Let's bring this dock a little lower. Okay, so now we got the poles, we got the reflection kind of going on that. Um, now let's, let's uh, with the same black line, let's add some rails onto this boat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just draw a line lightly like this and just go from one side all the way up and fade it in there like this. Okay, and then just draw your um, poles. Does not have to be perfect. You can make it as detailed as you want. I'm gonna draw As you can see, I'm sketching it out roughly. Maybe there's something going on here in the boat. Okay. Now with this um, gray and black mix it so it won't be pure black, okay? I'm gonna grab this grayish, mix it with this black, this, just make it a little lighter. That's all we want, just not, not too bright. Like, we want the water reflection to be um, pretty dark. So what we're gonna do is cover the water here, you know, maybe bring it down, like, eyeball it, you know, where, where, um, this reflection of the water would be and just cover most of this and some of them could be you know you could bring it out towards the water or towards this pole here fade it out Do the same thing, you know, fade it out here. And 
make it look rough and and at an angle too. As you can see, it's a rough sketch. We're gonna grab our artist off here, uh, inch brush, squeeze it out, and just with water, I'm just gonna press a little bit and, and spread this um, color down here. here, just right in here, doesn't have to be perfect, okay, like that, and we're going to continue down, and draw this in here, same idea, Fade it out. And I'm doing it at an angle because I want my water to go that way. Um, but as I go an angle here, I'm gonna make it less, okay? I'm gonna kind of curve it here. Curve it here, just with water and this gray. And add a few. You can see we're just adding water in this gray and following our pattern of the water just with a flat half an inch brush. Because this is our first sketch and remember this dock I want it to reflect as well. So I'm going to add some reflection of this dock and fade it out. And I'm gonna add a few reflections here of the other boat here behind. Just randomly pretend that there's a some sort of reflection going on. There you go. There's a sketch of the water. So now I'm going to grab my inch brush and I'm going to add a little bit of this, um, or white, even just a little bit of the white, and maybe add it in the water here. It's reflecting a little bit of these boats. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of this black and gray. It doesn't have to be perfect. And underneath, make it darker here. And 
you know, spread it out. Okay, just with water and work transparent. Just water and a little bit of this black. Gonna make this a little bit longer, a little bit darker, because that's our biggest boat. Okay. So now we're gonna, I, ha I added white and yellow, and what we're gonna do is grab some white, and I'm using my Artist Loft brush, or you could use a half an inch. Um, this is a half an inch Artist Loft brush. Um, and I'm just gonna add it some highlights, rough highlights here. You know. and kind of spread it out evenly with the white, just pure white. Just white and water. a little bit here. And I'm gonna grab my artist love brush, clean it out half an or an inch and just spread everything. Not everywhere, just I mean, just everywhere, just kind of blend it all in. Let's make an orange so that it won't be too yellow. Um, and just so add a little bit of red and mix it in with the white and orange. Kind of like the same idea. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Just whatever orange you get works. Kind of like any of these colors. They already dried out, so I can't use them. So if it's a little different, that's fine. So just grab that orange and just put it in right in here. Just 
spread it out evenly, you know, with water. Uh, and then draw out some of the ripples in here. Using this orange color. And just fade it out there and add some orange going in here. some white, just pure white, and add, add water. You know, we want more of the white on top because the light is hitting that further area. So we want that to pop out. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And then as I f go out here, I fade it out more. So that's why it's important to work with water, white. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab black again and just go over some of these pools. Okay, some in here maybe. Over 
this pool, remember? We brought it down all the way here. Okay, and then blend everything in nicely again with water and the inch brush. And then now we're just using this color that we have here, this orange, lighter orange, and lightly with a half an inch brush, we're gonna create a few more highlights. Just water. Just with water and this orange.
And now let's grab our inch brush, clean it out, dab it in the water and grab some red, just pure red. And we're gonna just add it right here on the bottom and cover this area. Just the red. Okay. And red and water. Just grabbing a little bit of red. And I'm going to make my water a little darker right here. Just the red. and fade it out as you go up. If I add it too much, I'm gonna clean it out with my you know, paper towel so that I won't have too much red. Just clean it out a bit and then blend everything in again. Okay, you can go as much detail as you want in the water and play around with it. But now we're gonna grab this red and half an inch brush and just add some red onto our boat here. Just highlight, so I'm working transparent. Okay, just a little bit of red on each side. Okay, and then grab the detail brush and add a few details. So just round double detail brush and let's add a few details onto our boat. Let's add a little window here. It's going in like this and then a little separation and a window here. And then let's add line there. Let's add our roof. Create some interesting stuff going on around here. Okay. And then let's add a little line here, like that. Just with water and a little bit of this black. Create your boat. You know, make some of these look interesting.
and just go over with detail as much as you want and you can make it as perfect as you want just have fun with it okay maybe a little line here just with uh, some white and a little bit of yellow whatever paint you have left Line it again from the light. Maybe go over, just creating some shadows. see let's add some detail on these locks so we're gonna grab our half an inch artist loft brush grab whatever color you have left this gray right and uh, just dab it onto this all the way down maybe fade it out but Dab it in. Okay, and with the detail brush, you just go back and add the highlights. Fade it out. Let's add a little, little bird sitting on this thing. How about that? Little, little bird sitting alone, thinking about life. Here's his head, here's his neck. Sitting on this thing alone. Just like that. Thinking where he could catch a fish. There you go. Our little bird right there. And just with black and water, create some of these boards here. And then these could go like this. And 
and you this is the part where you can add details and play around just randomly add where you want your shapes to be shadows to be and have fun Okay. Okay, now you can spend as much time and detail as you want going over the boats, the clouds, the water, anything you want. I'm going to add a few more birds here and call this painting good. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and uh, learned a lot today. Please let me know what you thought down below. and. Um, if you find this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe. I post tutorials every Thursdays. Just a few cute birds here. Maybe there's one far, far away. Okay. back here.